one. Today I've created an employee class in which I've provided an address. The address is another class which is ID, details, and post. As I can show you in the database, I am having this employee table. It has ID name and address ID, and address ID is a for, uh, for foreign key which is which has ID details and post in it. So this is the join query I have provided to join address and employee. So all things will come in one go. So let me go to the main controller which I have created to set the details of address and employee in the database. And this add is nothing but an address which has been auto add. And this is EMP is an employee which has been auto add. So what I will do, I will just add the ad details of the address and the details of the employee. And first I will set the address detail and then I will set the employee detail. In between, I am just throwing a number form format exception. So when I will go to my URL and let me first go to the URL and I will set the data that is in the database. And now, as you can see, this has been a number format explained in between. So details would haven't been inserted for the employee. As you can see the database, when I'll hit this join column, see the details of the address is only coming and not for the employee. These are details of the address. And one by one I'm showing you, see that employee details are not there, but the address details are there. This is a big mistake which a programmer can do. So to overcome this, what I can do is I can use the transactional auto at the rate and transactional keyword in the spring in which I can draw back for this particular exception. So now what I can do, let me just save this. And one more thing, I in the application.properties, I put the hibernate.dtl auto as create. Every time it will, whenever I'll save the any changes, it will refresh all the details in the database. So when I've just saved this, so it is doing its process. Let me show you the details. See, all things have been refreshed. This is just to show you. And now when I will just again hit this, see what will be done. Nothing came but just an exception. And these are the details of the exception which came. That is a number for my exception. And when I will see the database, so nothing will be there. Because we have already provided number to role, role, role on the basis of number format exception that is at the rate transactional roll back for and number format exception which we have thrown in the letter coding so now what i will do i will provide no roll back in even in the case of in the case of no roll back when the number format exception will come it will not do anything it will just proceed as it is so see this there's no detail now i have Again, hit this URL, and now let me show you the details. See, in case of no rollback, it didn't provide any hindrance, and details of the address came, but not for the employee. So in this way, we can use the at the transactional keyword. That is for rollback for a particular exception, and we can skip certain exception on the basis of no rollback. So now let me show you one more thing. That is timeout. So in case of timeout let me provide this as one and now i'll just delete this exception part and provide thread dot sleep thread dot sleep sleep method which contains long milliseconds and i will provide one for one second that is 1000 millisecond and provide it with try catch block and now this is timeout and let me provide for some more timeout that is for 60 and now in this case it will set the details in the database it will it is just refreshing everything and let me show you the database nothing will be there because everything has been refreshed now let me hit that url again and when i'll hit the url again and let me show you the database right now see everything is there because timeout was more than the milliseconds which we have provided in set dot sleep. Now let me provide some more time for 1.5 seconds and let me provide timeout for one second. And now when I will save, everything is saved right now and let me just show you the database that everything is clear now. 
now when I'll again hit the enter for this URL some error came why and show you the database nothing is there because we have provided the timeout that is timeout is less than the waiting time in the particular program so nothing is inserted in this way we can use at the transactional keyword so there are some more other things regarding transaction other than rollback and no rollback and some other things are related to propagation which contains depending which proceeds on the basis of transaction that is if the transaction is going on or it's a new transaction or it requires a new transaction so that can be handled using propagation this is all about the address transaction thank you